What's going on everyone? In this video we experience uh, absolutely catastrophic engine failure. Uh, yes, another one. Um, this one almost led me to giving up on this project and for a while I pondered. Uh, I actually am starting a second project which I'm not gonna make very public. Um, it's going to be a two-stroke. Uh, it's going to be really lightweight and um, you know I'm going to be doing the whole designing the expansion chamber and all sorts of other goodies. Anyway, so in this video what happened is uh, the piston uh, is a touring piston by Wiseco, so it's an aftermarket billet piston. And uh, when I was building the engine, one of the things I noticed is that it kind of rocks in the bore just a little bit. And so even though it's below deck under normal conditions, I believe with the heat of combustion over a period of time, uh, and I don't know, I think something else might have happened too, I'm not entirely sure, there was enough to actually clear, go above deck, above the head gasket, and actually for the piston to interfere with the head. And so the result is uh, the piston shattered and uh, the entire inside of the engine was covered in fragments. And um, uh, the oil pickup on the rod went through the side of the block. Um, so basically it's a full bottom end loss. And I almost didn't rebuild it until I found uh, the marks on the piston from where the head goes and so one of the things I did was I adjusted the Machining for the piston where it takes away a little bit of the corners and I also bought the three ring version of the Wiseco piston and uh, What's really cool about that is when I put the engine together uh, there is no rocking like with the two ring version and uh, When I fired up the engine it sounds completely different and incredibly smooth and um I guess we'll go from here, and um, that's about it. So this brings me to the second part of the video, and uh, today we're going to machine a new reduction. And uh, I took a vote on the Paramotor Home Make Group, uh, whether I should stick to the chain reduction or revisit the micro V-belt reduction, which didn't work very well last time because the belt would slip. And so I decided to, or actually you guys decided that I should do the micro V and um, so I ended up cheating a little bit and I went online and I ordered up the big pulley for a Moster 185 and uh, I machined an adapter plate to mount that and I machined the lower pulley which turned out beautiful and uh, it works amazing and uh, so sit back and enjoy and stay tuned for more interesting content. We do the bumps, yeah. We do the wrong funk nuts, do the wrong funk nuts. We got a lump chest, we do the bomb chest. We do the bomb chest, do the wrong funk chest. We got the funk nuts up inside the clubs. Nuts, yeah. Nightly, yeah. we do it tightly. We got the funk nuts, yeah. The bomb bombs, yeah. We got the 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 bombs, yeah. Come tonight, Lee. Yeah, tightly, yeah. The wrong bombs, yeah. Up in the club, B, we do it lovely, yeah. We got the fun nuts, the bomb nuts, yeah. Bad to me, bad to me, bad to me. We got the bomb nuts, yeah. Uh, we do it 